In recent days, activities in spaceflight has seen a number of noteworthy events. On this episode of our show, we will recap the three most important of them. To begin, India's space program achieved a remarkable feat with the successful soft landing of the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft on the lunar surface. Next, American Rocket Lab Company made another step towards the reusability of its rockets, having reused a single rocket engine. Lastly, the Russian Progress MS-24 cargo spacecraft was launched to the International Space Station. The Indian Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft attempted to land on the surface of the moon on August 23rd. This time, ISRO officials had believed their spacecraft would be successful. This was due to the lessons learned from the unsuccessful lander from the Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019. The first step of the landing maneuver was the rough braking phase during which the lander descended from an altitude of 30 kilometers to approximately 7.5 kilometers. These screens show a graph of the descent, as well as a visualization of the orientation of the lander, named Vikram. Notably, at this point, the thrust from the four engines was directed almost horizontally with the surface. That is, it was essential to eliminate the horizontal velocity in this phase. As the lander descended, it gradually rotated with its feet towards the surface. Subsequently, it entered the fine braking phase. At this point, the lander was already adjusting the horizontal and vertical velocities. Its design enabled a secure landing at a maximum horizontal speed of half a meter per second and a vertical speed of up to two meters per second. At an altitude of around 150 meters, the critical moment arrived. A camera scanning the terrain below recorded the lander descending into an area that was not entirely safe. Therefore, the Vikram lander took an evasive maneuver. At this stage, many things could have gone awry, but the lander prevailed. After a few more tens of seconds, the control center could commence celebrations. <laughs> India became only the fourth country to land on the moon, the Soviet Union, the United States, and China being the other three. The Indians wasted no time, and just a few hours after landing, a ramp was deployed and the Pragyan rover made its way to the lunar surface. Both the lander and the rover will operate around the Manzinus U crater for 14 days. Then, the lunar night will come, and both machines will likely not survive the cold. Nevertheless, the data they collect will be invaluable. The Vikram lander has reached the vicinity of the moon's south pole, a scientifically attractive location. By the way, this is how the Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft managed to take a picture of the Vikram lander on the surface of the moon. On August 23rd at 2345 Universal Time, Rocket Lab launched another electron launch vehicle from the Mahia spaceport, carrying the Acadia 1 satellite from Capella Space into orbit at an altitude of 640 kilometers. This satellite is equipped with a radar antenna capable of achieving a spatial resolution of up to 30 centimeters. The launch was originally scheduled to take place several days prior, but was delayed due to the anomalous behavior of one of the engines on the first stage. To avoid further delays and to demonstrate their commitment to reusable technology, Rocket Lab took off the payload fairing with the satellite and placed it on another electron launcher. However, one of the Rutherford rocket engines on the new launch vehicle had already been used once before. Therefore, the engine was prepared to be reused for the first time. And this photograph clearly shows the difference between the older engine and the other new. This first stage was designed for recovery. 
and after disconnecting from the second stage, it re-entered the atmosphere, deploying its parachute and landing in the ocean, where a ship was waiting to retrieve it. The reused engine performed flawlessly throughout the mission, and Rocket Lab is now aiming to reuse all nine engines on the first stage. In the previous episode of Spaceflight News, we covered the departure of Progress MS-22 from the International Space Station. On August 23rd, at 108 Universal Time, a Soyuz 2.1A rocket launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, carrying the Progress MS-24 cargo spacecraft. The launch vehicle operated without issue, and the spacecraft detached from the upper stage after nine minutes, deploying its photovoltaic panels and antennas, and commencing its pursuit of the ISS. Ground controllers opted for a standard flight profile on this mission, resulting in the Progress MS-24 arriving at the ISS two days later, on August 25th. This sped up footage shows the final approach to the station. In order to avoid a piece of space debris, the ISS had to perform an evasive maneuver the day prior. The 21-second long burn of the engines on the Zvezda service module decreased the station's orbit by 500 meters, but this had no effect on the Progress's arrival. The arriving Progress, MS-24 was loaded with 500 kilograms of propellant, 420 kilograms of water, 40 kilograms of nitrogen, and 1,535 kilograms of dry cargo, including scientific experiments, clothing, food, tools, and hygiene products. It docked with the aft node of the Zvezda module at 3.45 Universal Time on August 25th, the same location from which Progress MS-22 had departed a few days earlier. Thank you for watching Spaceflight News. Since our show comes out every three days, the next episode will be released on Monday, August 28th. And if you like our content, be sure to subscribe to ensure you don't miss any episodes.